Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an intraday factor model. And what we're going to try to do is try to predict the QQQ return using some stocks inside of the queues. And you could pick any stocks, but I'm just going to focus on these five. Here, I'm just going to load up some packages. I'm going to select the stocks that I need, and I'm going to get intraday data from my database from the month of September going forward. We're going to merge all the stock closes together, fix the column names. We're going to calculate the returns for each bar. And for any NAs, which is usually the first row, we're just going to replace those with zero. Your returns data frame should look similar to this if you're following along. So we have the queues and the five stocks up to this point. Now we're going to focus on these returns and build our factor model. So for the factor model, we're going to split our data set for the month of September, which will be used to pass in and build our model. And our validation set will be set to the month of October. So this will be our at a sample return. Now to try to predict the return of the queues, we're going to use LM for linear model and each of our stocks returns. And if we print out the summary, we get a printout similar to this one. So it looks like all of these stocks are statistically significant. Here we have our betas and it looks like our R squared is very high, which is good. The next thing we're gonna do is extract the coefficients and we're gonna pass in those coefficients or our betas and multiply them against our stocks to build a Y hat or predicted Qs. And we're gonna print out the correlation, which is very high, which is good. Now if we plot the predicted Qs versus the Qs in sample and out of sample, we see that for the most part, they have a high degree of correlation. So this first row of charts is the in sample, the one underneath is the out of sample returns. Now the pattern here is to take the spread or the difference between these two returns and try to come up with a strategy. So what I ended up doing was plotting here the differences between the predicted Qs and the Qs. As you see, we have subtracted the Qs from our predicted value. If we plot those, calculate the mean and standard deviations, you should get a chart similar to this one. And here in the chart we have plotted using this red line, three standard deviations to the upside and downside. So what occurred to me was to get these points that are above or below the standard deviations and somehow come up with a strategy. So here in our next block, we're gonna add a signal column to our stock returns. Whenever our difference between the Qs and our predicted value crosses zero, we wanna be flat. Whenever it's trading below three standard deviations, we want along the Qs. And whenever it's above three standard deviations, we wanna short the Qs, fill in the signal for any and A's. To extract our strategy return, we're gonna multiply the Qs return with our lag signal so that we capture the actual return versus the Qs. And if we plot those lines, here the red line is the cumulative return of the Qs versus our strategy, which returned above 1%. So again, not the greatest returns, but at least it's outperforming the benchmark. So that's how you get started building factor models. I'm not saying you could trade this signal, but I just wanted to showcase how a basket of stocks within the queues can help us predict the queues return. Well, with that guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.